the 2023 version of me i don't know her anymore i don't know who she is because i'm becoming unrecognizable okay and if you want to join me on the 30 day challenge then click the link below if you don't still watch the video to the very end because i'm going to show you how to enter your self-isolation era how to focus on yourself for three months and become unrecognizable if you've been here before hi friend if you're new hi welcome my name is lorraine and my channel is Lori lux and i like to call myself your self-care soul sister subscribe to the channel sis and join our soft living space sometimes our stop doing list needs to be bigger than our to-do list the quote by patty d and this is so pivotal when it comes to reinventing yourself because when we're entering a new era a lot of people put more emphasis on making new changes or adding new habits into their routine before shedding the skin there's no point during the gym if you have an issue with binge eating there's no point to start saving if you have a bad or unhealthy relationship with money so when you're venturing into this journey of becoming the best version of yourself you need to be on with yourself with your bad habit the things that are going to cause friction delay or prevent you from achieving your goals because if you don't you're going to be right back where you started so get into the root cause of why you struggle with those issues and the main reason that a lot of people don't talk about why people struggle with consistency and discipline is because they didn't have any consistency or discipline when they were growing up as a child can we talk about it the lack of a consistent parent the lack of consistent structure, the lack of consistent validation, the lack of discipline which then manifests itself as an adult where you're unable to become consistent and disciplined for yourself so you need to heal your inner child by making this comeback personal and forgiving yourself for all those broken promises that you made for yourself all those times that you didn't show up for yourself by mothering yourself by giving yourself that structure by giving yourself that validation and that discipline you have to show your inner child your current self and and your future self that you are worthy to become the best version of yourself you are worthy to achieve your goals you are worthy to have that dream life that you desire by becoming consistent by becoming disciplined by removing that self-sabotage and that procrastination it's a negative association when it comes to self-isolation because it is linked to it being a trauma response but there is also healthy self-isolation, which is more about moving in silence, focusing on yourself and removing any distractions. And I'm not sure if you guys are the same, but when I'm in my self-isolation area and I'm serious about achieving my goals, I don't tell anybody about my goals for many reasons. One, being evil eye, you guard what's most important to you. And there's this dopamine hit, which comes after you tell someone your goals, which gives you a sense of accomplishment. Like you've already achieved your goals, which actually, hinders your performance you're not going to be working as hard because you feel like you've already achieved your goals so keeping your goals to yourself also helps with that motivation also helps with that resilience and that discipline and there's no greater rush than three months or six months or even a year's time you bump into somebody they're like oh my gosh you look so good you've lost so much weight or you bought your house or you have this amount in your savings you have this business instead of every week or every month some Someone's asking you or oh, how's the weight loss going or how's the business going and you know damn well you haven't done anything or maybe you're not performing as well as you would like to or maybe you haven't achieved the goals that you had wanted to in that month which can discourage you and make you feel like a failure and there's a difference between self-isolating and having an accountability partner there's going to be people who you need to tell your goals people who you know are going to keep you accountable on your journey of achieving your goals so it might be a coach you might be a partner you might be that one friend that's always standing on business everybody else you gotta leave them behind okay and tell them once you have achieved your goal next thing that you want to do is pick a word for the month i used to have a word for the year but i found that over the years things change in the year there's unexpected things that might happen and the word that i would have chosen in january is not going to be relevant in june so having a word of the month is much more timely is much more intense and my word for the month is conviction because I'm going to be standing firmly in 
everything that I'm doing. I'm going to be standing firmly in my self-belief. I'm going to be standing firmly in my action, in my discipline, in removing that procrastination. Everything that I'm going to be doing is going to have conviction in it. And the main thing is going to be embodying the identity of the person who has achieved my goals. And this is going to be a daily exercise that I'm going to be doing. When I wake up in the morning, stepping into the identity of somebody who looks after their mind, body and soul by going to the gym, by eating healthy, by saying positive affirmations, by removing negative self-talk, by being a more patient person. It is an intentional process. You just don't wake up and automatically become a different person. A lot of people wait until their circumstances change, wait until they have more time, wait until they have more money, but your circumstances are not going to change until you change your mind, until you change the way that you feel, until you become her. You become her today so that you can change your circumstances tomorrow. Now, I have a lot of goals from financial, health, career, relationships, social, spiritual. And as women, I know we're so great at multitasking. But if I'm putting 30% of my time, effort and energy into all these categories, I'm only going to be getting a 30% return of investment back. Whereas if I only focus on one thing, maybe my finances, and I'm putting a hundred percent of my time, effort, and energy in my finances, then I'm going to get a hundred percent of my return of investment. So as hard as this is for me to do for January and for this challenge, I'm only going to be focusing on one goal with the hope of getting a hundred percent return of investment with that thing because if I want to create change and actually become unrecognizable I need to do things differently. Clearly, the way that I've been doing things for the last few years is not working and trying to juggle all these things at the same time, it's not working out for me. Everybody has a plan B, whether it's consciously or unconsciously. For example, everyone's always telling me that I've got a great body, my shape is really nice and I've got a small waist. People tell me that I'm doing well for my life, how well I'm balancing being a mother, having a business and content creating, that sometimes it it hinders me when it comes to achieving my goals. When I don't have the motivation or I'm not getting the progress that I want, sometimes I convince myself that, well, things are not that bad, you know. Maybe I don't need to lose weight because I do have a great shape. Maybe I don't need to 3X my income because I am comfortable and I am able to look after myself and my daughter. It's not so bad because there's people who die to have the life that I have. I need to be more great which again hinders my productivity, makes me lazy and not achieve my goal. So I removed all plan B's by not being comfortable with this current version of myself, not being comfortable with this current reality of my life because if I stay the same, if I don't make any change and I'm still the same person and I'm still where I am in five years time, I'm not going to be happy. I might be content with my current self today, but I know damn whether I'm not going to be content in five years time. So I am fearlessly pursuing a plan A. There is no plan B. I have convinced myself that my life is not comfortable, that I don't have a great shape, that it would be the end of the world if I don't lose any weight or if I don't 3x my income. To get myself in the headspace of taking that action, of standing firm in my conviction and taking the necessary action that I need to take to become unrecognizable. Don't forget to click the link below and join the 30 day challenge, like this video, subscribe to the channel, watch this video on how to save a wasted year and I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye lovelies.